This series of Quick Start modules cover the connections typically made when setting up a smart server. The first module describes the power, Ethernet, and console connections. Physical connections to the smart server are found on the top and bottom of the unit. Other than the Ethernet, console, and optional modem ports, all connections to the smart server utilize screw terminals. The Smart Server Hardware Guide provides detailed information on the connections. The Smart Server contains an auto-ranging, auto-setting 100 to 240 volts AC 5060 Hz power supply. You do not need to make any adjustments or move any jumpers when connecting the Smart Server to the AC power mains. On the PL20 models of the Smart Server, this connection is also used for the LawnWorks network communication. The high voltage connection is implemented on screw terminals 1, earth ground, 3, neutral, and 4, line. Screw terminal 2, NC for not connected, is not used and should remain unconnected. After connecting the AC mains, be sure to replace the cover over the screw terminals. The smart server is connected to the local IP network through its LAN port found on the top of the unit. The smart server will automatically adjust to the speed of the data port. The LAN link LED indicator on the front panel will illuminate to indicate that a connection has been made, and the LAN 100 LED will illuminate when the smart server is connected to a 100 base T network. A console port is provided on the smart server for maintenance and to provide a secure alternative to the web interface configuration pages. Connect an RS-232 null modem cable with female connectors on both ends between the console port on the smart server and a COM port on the computer. A USB to RS-232 adapter can be used to connect to computers that do not have a serial port. Use a terminal emulation program to access the Smart Server console application. An open source program, PUTTY, is provided on the Smart Server disk for this purpose. PUTTY can also be used to communicate with Smart Server over Telnet. The console default communication properties are 9600 bits per second, 8 bit data, no parity, one stop bit, and no flow control. This completes part one of the Connecting a Smart Server Quick Start modules. The next module covers LawnWorks FT10 and PLT connections.